Well, um, I'm going to echo your sentiment, says me. Yep. It feels like three weeks ago we had the BNL kick <laughs> kickoff, and now we're here at the end of what's been a fantastic conclusion for the 15th anniversary season. Yeah, for sure. And it's like you said, it's like we're back at the kickoff. Yeah. Because the weather at the moment is exactly the same as we had with the with the podium ceremony of the kickoff, um, but we had a really great uh, great season. Mm. Sad that it's over, but uh, on to next year. And we've also had a bit of BNL karting series history. Kai Rillets joining Mike Van Vucht as a four-time BNL karting series champion. We were denied that two Belgians would have done it this weekend with Glenn Van Parijs, who has confirmed. So don't worry. The man who loves his Porsche Carrera Cup cars and also his karting will be back for multiple seasons, which is really good, good to see. Someone like Glenn and, you know, Kai, who's one of the brightest Belgian talents, yeah. um, you know, in a rookie season. I think those, those two people really show what Belgian motorsport are all about. Yeah, first of all, uh, congratulations to, uh, to both Kai and, uh, and Glenn for uh, getting their tickets. I'm a bit sad that Kai already got his ticket in the, in the Euro Trophy and that we did not get to uh, give it to him this weekend. But nevertheless, a uh, really strong season from Kai. Um, he has shown yeah, really good form throughout the whole season, so that's uh, very impressive. I'm, yeah, I'm delighted, I'm very excited to see what he will show us on the, uh, on the Grand Finals. Um, yeah, Glenn van Parijs, I think Glenn is a, a great ambassador for the karting sport, and that's why we're very happy to have him here. Uh, of course, he, he races also in cars, but you, you can see uh, when you see him walking here, when you see him driving, it's just yeah. the sheer passion uh, is very noticeable. So um, yeah, really uh, excited to see uh, those uh, two Belgians uh, compete in uh, Portimao in a few weeks time. I mean looking at the 2022 Roll of Honor you know we've got new champions we've got returning champions Sen Lindemann uh, following in the footsteps of Tom Pappenberg from last season won by a country mile 64 points was his advantage Max Sadursky became a two-time champion follow that up with the man that I nicknamed back in 2019 when he won the Micromax title Mr. Domination, Tommy Van der Stroys, came from absolutely nowhere and beat Mikkel Pedersen, who had a comfortable advantage over the likes of Scott Marsh, Casper Shormans. And Tommy didn't even factor in. He was, he was eighth. And he's come back. He's like gone, hang on, boys, the cavalry's coming. And like literally, uh, I think a big smile on Martin Van der Stroys' yeah. face. I mean, Martin and I get on like a house on fire. Kai becomes the new senior Rotax champion but I think you have to give credit to Sean Butter from KR Sport to fight right up until the very end but it was great to see the Babichkova family here we had Eliska we had Petra and then we had little Denny and Denny was the only driver that decided to go yeah it's not too bad I, I can do two classes and he wins he, he, he gets two trophies this weekend but of course they had great support with the, their recovering elder sister, Teresa, who had the back injury through uh, the incident at Freca at the Red Bull Ring. She was due to take part at Singapore for W Series. And we have to say, congratulations, Bites Gavissa, for taking the victory. Um, so that's a great another ambassador for the BNL Karting Series. She raced here in KZ2. Um, but then DD2. It all came down to one moment. I was so excited. I was in the commentary box hollering and everything. And then I find out after the race that Mark Kimber has a penalty, which totally changed the complexion of it. But you have to give credit to Glenn because we know, we know that man very, very well, that he will keep on fighting to the bitter end. We now have our second ever French champion. And what's more, it's in the same class. Rudy Champion back in 2020. And now Paul Louvaux, last year's Euro Trophy champion. I mean, multiple different nationalities, but then our ticket winners. I think Max Sadursky was horse playing around when I shouted his name out for the ticket. <laughs> Aliska took the ticket for senior. Junior, it was Mikkel Pedersen. Um, then Glenn got his ticket for, for the Red Devils. And what you're probably wondering, why am I wearing a Team Belgium jacket from 2019? Well, it celebrated my first adventure to the Rotax Grand Finals, which Esme is going to be coming to as well yeah. this week, this year at Portimao. Um, but then Paul Lavoie getting his ticket, you know, he's been running in the NSK. But who out of the drivers, I think apart from Kai and Glenn, have really impressed you this season? Um, there's a few. Um, looking at this weekend, of course, Tommy van der Struis. Yeah. We cannot ignore him. He has yeah. been very strong uh, this weekend, so uh, really great job. Um, yeah, Max and Boas. 
mm -hmm. both very strong drivers, both uh, Max Zadersky and Boas Maximov in uh, Minimax. Mm. Um, very tough battle yes. between them, and um, yeah, uh, yeah, good to see. Um, it's very exciting. It was very exciting up until the last race. Um, so that's uh, that's really good, and. Um, yeah, of course, the Belgian drivers you mentioned were yeah. very impressive. Um, gonna have to give out, uh, give a shout out to uh, Sean Butcher as well, who yeah. I think is, uh, he has done some very strong races over the season, and he is uh, he he's a great sportsman. He's yeah, that's really uh, really impressive as well. I think from my perspective, and this is this is in no way biased at all. I think to see Eliska come in. You know, I remember commentating on her, Teresa and Petra a long, long time ago. I even commentated on their younger brother, Denny, who's the youngest of the quartet. And he's still very, very small. <laughs> but to see Eliska, I think out of most recent times, the first female driver to qualify for the grand finals through the B&L Karting Series in the most recent times. I don't know if that is different, but normally the champion, if they have not already qualified, the last woman who won a title... Giovanna Bunches, 2011 and 2012 in KZ2. So it's great to see that 10 years on, yeah. we get another young, strong female driver who's competitive, has got the drive to win, and she's won races this season. Yeah. Um, but away from the drivers, 49 days until the grand finals. I'm looking forward to going back to Portimao. I know some drivers have got some unfinished business, but 2023... That kickoff's going to be around before you know it, isn't it? I hope. <laughs> I certainly hope so because now, yeah, we we still have a few more races here uh, here at Genk. Uh, we have the uh, Rotex Germany in two weeks' time. We have the Belgian Rotex in uh, four weeks' time, and a week after that, we have the Rotex Max Golden Trophy. Um, so I still have a lot of things to look uh, look forward to. Afterwards, we will have the uh, the Grand Finals, of course. But then it's just uh, two to three months of no racing. And then I hope that uh, the kickoff will be here very soon. Uh, and uh, yeah, we will start our season again. Yeah, so effectively, we'll think it's another three weeks and it'll be more like about six months. But we have to say a big thank you to a lot of people. I mean, Esme, you've done a fantastic job first yep. year as the boss. Uh, and what she says goes, folks. I, look, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but we have to say a big thank you to everybody. I think timekeeping, race control, scrutineering, um, even some fat bloke with the microphone who's standing in front of you at the moment, who's normally on a mic hollering up there in the, just off of turn 11. Um, you know, uh, secretary meetings. Uh, we have to say a big thank you to Camp Company Game Beer Heart and MW Race Consulting for the live stream and the timing all the way through the week, all the, th the way through the races. Rudy and the team at Team MKG. Without the marshals, those women and men in orange, we would not go racing. We've seen a few black backflips over the years. Uh, but then also we want to thank all of you, all of the supporters, all the friends, all the families, all the drivers, mechanics, team bosses, the, the lorry drivers that ferry it all around to other places. But you know what? We hope you've enjoyed the season with us because it's season 16. The anniversary is over, folks. Next March, I think we're going to be getting back down to business, aren't we, Esme? We are, definitely. And um, like you said, you, uh, the thank you to the whole team. Also from my side, of course, uh, like you said, my first season. It has been quite challenging, but um, we have the, the strongest team you can imagine. And we have really good people. Like you said, the marshals from Rudy, uh, the people in Park Ferme, scrutineering, uh, race control, uh, secretary timekeeping, commentary. Um, who I owe all a very big thank you. Very grateful for everything they have done for this uh, for this series, for the sport. So that's uh, something I'm very grateful for. And I want to thank uh, Mike Wagner, Dave Ritsen and uh, Koen uh, Lemmens uh, in general. They have really uh, helped me a lot this season. So very happy. Karting Genk, of course, is the house that Lemmens built. It's seen the likes of Stoffel van Dorn, uh, Jensen Button, Max Verstappen who's uh, trying to go for his second world title in Formula 1 as we speak, Laurent, uh, Laurent and Dries van Tour, the list goes on and on. But from us here at Karting Genk, the home of champions, we bid you farewell. Don't forget to keep an eye on Team Belgium, the Red Devils, at this year's Grand Finals in just 49 days' time. Until then, well, we'll see you in 2023. It's goodbye from me, it's goodbye from Esme, and it's goodbye from the home of champions. We'll see you next time.